The 2024 presidential primary is getting crowded and some candidates are still little known. Dr. Roland Roberts is an American businessman, government advisor, and now Republican candidate for president, recently announcing his candidacy for the 2024 presidential election. NTD's Kelly Wright sat down with Roberts to discuss his 2024 bid. Steve, thank you. I'm here with Dr. Roland Roberts, who is running for president. And you're a successful businessman, you're a leader, you've been a governor advisor to members of Congress, as well as to ambassadors, in particular, as it correlates to what's happening in Africa, and then also the nexus of China working through Africa. Uh, what makes you run for president? Yes, well, thank you, Kelly, it's great to be with you. Uh, you know, ultimately, I'm running for president because of the divisive rhetoric in America uh, and we just cannot solve today's problems with yesterday's thinking. It requires tomorrow's thinking today. And so I have a different vision for 22nd century America that I believe uh, solves these problems. You're calling your campaign America 2.0, America Needs God. What do you mean by that? Well, America 2.0, it is that new way of thinking. We have to look at everything through the, the eyes of the 22nd century so that we make the right decisions today on healthcare, on education, uh, for our seniors, for our youth. Uh, but then also, uh, America does need God. We are in a, it is a, it is an absolute dearth uh, of, of spirituality and it has caused problems in every tier of our social fabric. Uh, it, the breakdown of the home and the family uh, has caused a lot of uh, social and economic problems in our country. Many nations on earth understand the value of the family. And so when I say America needs God, I mean putting him back in a rightful place in America. And then many of the problems that we do struggle with, uh, that different uh, segments of society struggle with, we can better address when he is in his rightful place. So how does that help you in terms of economic policy, for example? Certainly. So it, it guides your thinking. It guides good fiscal governance whenever you, he is in his rightful place, uh, or at least you're acknowledging uh, that he governs in the affairs of mankind. So for example, my focus is on zero national debt, not reducing the deficit, but on zero national debt, eliminating the federal debt. Uh, and I believe that our energy policy coupled with our uh, tax policy uh, will create the revenues in order to pay that off. I was just talking about your efforts in Africa, how you've advised uh, members of government uh, there as well as here in terms of how we deal with Africa yet there's always been the threat of what China has been doing in Africa. What are your concerns about China in total as it relates to what's happening in the world today, even with regard to the, the spy balloon and other things that have been going on with China? Well, I was in China in 2017. I, was, uh, I, I spoke they in, uh, in the Great Hall of the People to China's CCP and about the U.S.-China trade war and on their intellectual property theft and then the Road and Belt Initiative was really picking up steam and uh, has been highly successful across Africa. See, Africa is a strategic uh, place in the world today. It's the last greatest area for economic impact, uh, last continent that is untouched. Also, they will have uh, the greatest population, a super majority of youth in the world will reside on the African continent by 2030. They are the future of the world. What happens there is critically vital to America's national interest and our national security. And so we've got to be in that conversation. And China knows that, and they are better at the game currently on the continent of Africa than the United States has been. So how do we resolve that issue, knowing that the CCP uh, means, uh, it really means that if they gain an advantage in a foothold in, in Africa, they have a strategic uh, foothold on America? Yes, yes, indeed. And I think, of course, they already are owning some of the ports and things of that nature. I was uh, with one of the president, African presidents uh, last year, and he said, uh, they come with money, you come with talk. And so when you're saying, how do we solve some of these problems? We have to shift our thinking into a more effective policy. Uh, we can get Africa to move. They want to work with us, not with China. They know that China is bad for their future but we're not giving them much reason to work with us. Uh, we're still trying to leverage our superpower 
and want you to do what we want you to do, do our bidding, just because we're who we are. And uh, that only goes so far with people. You have to do right by people, no matter where they are in the world. Uh, Roland Roberts, running for president, Republican candidate for the presidential campaign of 2024. Thank you for joining us this hour.